Feature Friday. The freshest. <gasps> Woohoo! Okay, My so Lucha's back. Yay! Ah, here's another thing. Actually, I'm very, um, very impressed because you, you managed to do a podcast as well. Yeah. Uh, do tune in this uh, Sunday on Feature Friday Plus. Uh, 12 p.m. UK time because uh, Morissette is coming on the podcast. Um, certainly a lovely time for her and uh, yep, yep, yep. exciting so stuff. Can't export, don't export anything, but do tune in on Sunday. Cool conversation. I think you might enjoy it. Another artist that obviously we've been captivated by, um, it's certainly Marcelito. Um, mm. We actually haven't checked this out, but it was a cover. I guess this is less doble cara, I would imagine, but yeah. just one cara, I guess, you know? <laughs> the one, the only cara. The, the female <laughs> voice. The uno cara. <laughs> yeah, um, because he's bloody covering Narito Ako, mm -hmm. which is Regine's song. Yeah. On the Wish Bus. Uh-huh. So I thought it was interesting to bring Bali in. I didn't want to do this any other time unless Bali was healthy enough to come. Her voice is a little bit struggling, but she... Oh, I'm actually... I'm feeling good. Good. I'm feeling great. I'm refreshed. Very nice. I, it, it might not sound like it, but I, <laughs> I feel refreshed. Oh, it definitely sounds better than before. Go oh, on. that's for sure. I, I can make noise now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like literally a day ago, you couldn't. Oh, that's true. Two days ago, yeah. Oh, bro, I'm so excited. Back up out. Oh yes, go Marcelito. Wish 107. Do this song. <laughs> so much of back home. Another person inside of him. A freaking understanding that there is no way. I've seen plenty of videos, plenty of vocal Explain coaches, yeah, yeah. plenty of experts in the larynx, Maybe like the fucking that... people that understand. The people will be like surprised. Doctors. Huh? Oh. Hello? So I've seen like plenty of like proper doctors and like people that understand the the physical structure of of the larynx. That's to me possible. And yeah, like the, the the scientific part of it that I don't. It's comprehend. like in, it's like in sports <laughs> biomechanics. Yeah, basically people who spend their whole lives, who who have invested their youth into understanding the larynx. Um, Good to see that on YouTube. There's actually a lot of very stunned. good. Um, uh, uh, coaches and content mm -hmm. creators that do really know their vocal biomechanics. Indeed, and, and much they, better than us. And then explain in their explaining, like physically and technically speaking, what actually happens in the larynx. And I still, and and having all that knowledge, usually when you learn something, like seeing behind the curtains, like the mechanics of things, like the wonder. Of the the spectacle goes away, but every single time I watch a Marcelito do anything, like it doesn't matter what it is, my whole freaking mind goes poof. Like Best I don't understand it. In another discipline, would be watching uh, Roger Federer's forehand. It's like yeah, everyone's I broken down exactly. how it works, but mechanically, I understand it's actually exactly. fairly simple. To I know understand. exactly what he's doing, and but I'm to see him, I cannot. Just the amount of speed he has to his wrist and the racket like, head speed, and you're like, what the fuck? How? Yeah, exactly. So it it, it 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 will it always surprises me, and it fills me up with wonder to to see him perform, regardless of what it is, regardless of the environment. There there's an added magic. <laughs> <There's> right, an, <laughs> right. And there's then his an, hair is perfect, <laughs> and he doesn't sweat. <laughs> there's an added magic. Yeah, mystique. It, it? Yeah, it's perfect. Doesn't make any fucking <laughs> sense. Go on. Basically, that's me with Marcelito. I, the, after after thousands of pounds invested in your career and and hundreds of coaches, and you're still like, <laughs> can't do it. This guy right? can do things I've never seen anyone else do. Yeah, humanly and impossible. And I've seen I've seen plenty of pros <laughs> hit with them and nothing, mate. Go on. Yep. You see what I mean? Is this song is mad though? I love this song. Ah, oh, such a terribly hard song. That's Sir, must be our Regina, right? Well. <laughs> yeah. It actually sounds a lot like Regine. And it's the clear. 
cleanliness of the tone. So, he has like a different human living inside of him. Yeah, I agree with that. I think people genuinely think I'm a shit singer. <laughs> Out of all the Instagram stories, <laughs> I am. I'm not. I'm not a great singer. I mean, I, I have to say that I don't sing at that level. Neither that one. <laughs> I don't sing at that level. But, um, I don't understand that. Uh, yeah. It's freaking magic, bro. But you'd be surprised. <laughs> but your stories have derailed my you, image. They you, have destroyed it. You'd be surprised. I'm gonna sue you for defamation. <laughs> you'd be surprised how bad he is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm joking. <laughs> Yeah, just just take me to your karaoke. And <laughs> put, put uh, what is it? Pang Pangarip. Pangarapako. Pang That's right. <laughs> Pangarak ibi ako. Is it? Pangarap ibi gip. Ibiginka. Ibiginka. That's, that's it, that's it. By regime. Just put that song on. You'll see how horrible I am. I think there's but plenty. A hundred percent commitment. <laughs> I mean I know what I'm doing, but I certainly try to give a hundred percent. It's the only way I know how to do things. Hey for effort. <laughs> yeah. Yep. positioning though you hear the, that's right mm. the, in the break that's in the break so you have to he, he's not comfortable in that in that positioning so he has to lift the larynx with twanginess so he's bringing the sound a bit more forward out here in the in the cheek positioning coming down through the nose to maintain the lift of the larynx without going to that uh, complete shift shift yeah which is really close. That that's the break. That's what a lot of people It's low enough, but it's not low. It's low enough to naturally just go down. Okay. So uh, he's fighting that natural urge. Yeah. See that? Reset. Easy. Yeah, that's that's past the break. also see the beautiful lifted larynx right here there's absolutely nothing there and then you see the concave situation down here too so there is there's a natural big li uh -huh, a big lift here that happens naturally when the shift uh-huh with the shift of the larynx and it <laughs> what's impressive though is that he manages to take out Ephra Sorry. just signing an autograph <laughs> just we were so impressed uh, it is pretty impressive your larynx usage. That's right, that's right. Uh, shame, <laughs> shame. <laughs> In practical terms. <laughs> shame that you can't translate that into actual singing, but. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this, man? What what is that? A roasting session. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I don't like that shit. What's that energy? Oof. Oof. <laughs> I'm joking. Oof. <laughs> Take that back. <laughs> Did I hurt you? Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. But I'm obviously hurt, aren't I? I'm just saying that it, it's a... There's a jump, though. <laughs> oh, wow, man. What the fuck? Oh, sorry. Something's just coming up, actually. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there's, there's, a, there's a really cool thing that he's able to maintain the clean soprano sound without including the the twanginess that he naturally would need to maintain the uh, the, the shift of the larynx in that positioning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have nothing to say. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Such a hard song. Did you see the positioning of the tongue that in that Samala uh, here? Watch, watch it here. Facilitating that resonance. Radio. You would think it's Regine. I agree. You certainly think it's a female, <clears> but... <throat> you certainly wouldn't think it's Marcelito singing, though, that's for sure. Nowadays, 
<laughs> and so fucking famous. I don't know though. People I don't will think be like, it's either <laughs> Regine or Marcelito. <laughs> no, that's the, the yeah. song. The song. Yeah, I wonder what it feels. What was that about? Right, so it's it's a reset because there's too much tension. That what happens there is like oh, after maintaining the larynx so lifted, mm. it becomes very tiring. It becomes like it's really hard to maintain that positioning. It's like when you do a lot of reps in in a, 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 a bicep curls or whatever. I don't I don't work out. I don't know. But um, it's like when you work out a mus a muscle group too much and it becomes really tense and then it, painful a little bit. Uh, so you have to like shake it off to reset. The, soreness. Yeah. So like there's like muscle tension type of soreness that happens here in the set of uh, in the set of muscles. Oh, I mean just too. fatigue. Okay. I'm yeah. So one. it's yeah exactly. So you're you're seeing a reset because of, of fatigue. Natural. Uh, uh, it, it, that's not the natural positioning of his larynx. It, his larynx are incredibly gifted when it comes to flexibility. flexibility. That that is just freaking wild, man. I don't understand it, but the the just like maintaining mine. of that positioning and making it sound so clear because that that's a natural retraction which um for those who don't know what retraction is is like there's false folds and and the vocal folds so there's like two sets of like walls basically and the false folds retract this way so the vocal folds can touch and make full sound so it sounds very clear very crystal clear there's no raspiness there's no interfering in the sound itself so they make full contact but the false falls have to work against that full contact and maintain the space um so they're like opening the the airflow uh of of the walls of the larynx itself they're opening it so the the vocal folds can make full contact in the way um but that requires so much energy and that's naturally very tiring because maintaining the openness uh it's it's a task on its own so there's there's a set of exercises that you can do to uh, uh, stimulate retraction so it becomes natural and it's not so much of an effort oh. um but all of that included with the back anchoring and and the the natural predisposition of the song which is it is incredibly intricate um, there's the jumps and the leaps there there are <clears throat> no uh ways of easing yourself into certain uh, positionings uh, in, specifically in this in this song it's hard for regine <laughs> I, I can't even imagine yeah something that a lot of people will be surprised it's mad. It's like, yeah, yeah like see. having a chance to speak to some of them uh yeah you, power you, of a lot of you guys would be yeah. surprised uh that's actually hard yeah and then the, they actually sometimes even regret making the songs that difficult. <laughs> yeah. Because they are bloody difficult. They are hard. They are. But that's what keeps them motivated. And mm -hmm. that's what keeps them mm -hmm. bloody... In Grinding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very interesting. I, um, I'd love to hear... I, I would love to talk to him, though. Like, in like... Oh, Marcelito. Yeah, so to like... He's a pro Absolutely, I agree. You totally nailed in the head there. But, like, the approach to uh, such, such a song... Because... Now that I've seen him do doble cara, I actually think the shift of larynx actually takes away the tension from being in a set position for so long. Mm. Like you do in this in specific one setting, cover. It would yeah, be really it's so strenuous. Yeah, it's it's exhausting for the for the set of muscles. They're so small. They're so delicate. Uh, delicate. Yeah. So sensitive. I I would think I, I would think. It's actually easier from a vocal perspective, from like the vocal muscle group perspective. Terms of tension. Yeah, because when you drop completely and you're finding, uh, you know, resonance down here, um, your your larynx are completely resetting. So they're yeah. resetting really quickly, and that actually takes away the tension that you were building uh, as you kept your larynx lifted for so long. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to know that. Me um, too. I do know Doble Cara is a very popular sort of style mm -hmm. of singing in the Philippines, so perhaps even some people that are watching know how to do it, so do uh, do comment. Uh, apart from that, yeah, lovely stuff. Do tune in at Future Fighter Plus, 12pm UK time. That's right. And goodbye. Jingle bells. <laughs>